This may be the most valuable document that you need for your financial affairs going into retirement. You need to know how much money per year you're going to be spending in retirement. So many people don't know this. Your financial planner, if you have one, should go over this with you. And you can construct it through Mint, uh, Quicken, uh, anything that you wish to figure out what your expenses may be in retirement. To just use a target figure of say, oh, you're going to need 70% of what your income was pre-retirement, 100% whatever does not make sense. Those in private practice and that, and that have their own businesses, often the amounts are quite a bit less in retirement than they were pre-retirement. So let's go through this. What I do in my classes is I actually have each attendee, and I like to have couples work on this, come up with a projected retirement spending form. We have a certain number of columns here uh, of entities that we go through one by one, and I actually give you uh, a synopsis of what that includes, and I'll do that here. Then we uh, actually at the end can multiply by 12 and add some uh, tax into it. This can be used to figure out how much you're going to need in total in retirement for savings and how much you may need to save per year to get to that total. This can also be entered into a Monte Carlo scenario such as financial engines, uh, which I use a lot and come up with different scenarios and different ways to tweak. So let's go through this one by one. These numbers, these figures are taken from interviews of early retiree dentists. Also, this is cross-checked with Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, the latest that I could find is 2014. It's upgraded by inflation each year a bit. Uh, these are actually taken again from retired dentist and is cross-checked so that we come out with averages. Uh, this is for a typical doctor. Uh, you're going to figure out where you think you uh, are within the mix here for each individual item. Okay, well, let's start out. First of all, autos. In retirement, normally couples spend about $700 per vehicle. And by the way, this example here, the numbers are per month and they're for two people. If there's one person, it's going to be quite a bit less normally, half or sometimes a little bit more. So the average that you spend per vehicle is about $700. That includes depreciation, fuel, insurance, ser service, everything. That assumes that you buy new every five years. If you buy a luxury car, it's going to be more. It's closer to $2,000 or $1,000 per vehicle per month. Sometimes it's even more than that. Uh, the high-end Tesla is probably going to be closer to 3000 <clears throat> If you purchase used, it's going to be a bit less, or about $500 per vehicle per month. Put your amount in over on the right-hand side. Animals, pets. Pets, normally you have less in retirement. Normally it's one dog or one cat. Uh, as far as per month, usually it's $100 per month for medical food, etc. If you kennel dogs in particular, it may be an extra 100 per month. So 100 to $200 per month is pretty typical. Donations and charity. This includes tithing. Tithing, by the way, for those of you who do it, is going to be quite a bit less in retirement just because your income needs are going to be less. Uh, average is about $3,500 per year for a typical doctor couple. Uh, that's $300 per month. Clothing. Clothing is normally quite a bit less in retirement. Uh, I know couples that spend $3,000 a month for their family for clothes. Uh, this is $300. Often it's a lot less for two people. You don't need to impress as much, obviously. Uh, computer high-tech home theater. That's a, just a tech number. Put in $100 per month. Typically we see that over the years people are spending more on technology. So that's just a catch-all. Hobbies in retirement. Well, I'm on a budget of $4,000 a year, which is about $350,000 a month for my skiing and biking habits. And that's hard to keep. Uh, 
So my wife and I are probably going to be closer to $500 a month just because I'm pretty active and she probably will be too. Uh, some couples at zero are close to it. So it varies all over the place. Just put the number that you feel is most appropriate. Entertainment. Okay, dining out. Uh, once a week dining out at a fairly decent restaurant adds up to about $400 per month. Now, a lot of us, especially in early retirement, are going to spend double that. I put 600 if you eat out twice a week, once at a nice place, once at a semi-nice place. It could be $1,000 a month without too much trouble. I do know of couples pre-retirement when they're both working where they're spending $2,000 a month or more on dining out. So it could be a lot more, but in retirement it tends to be less. Okay, sports, concerts, theater, museums, $400 a month is pretty typical or about $100 a week in retirement. Again, these are monthly figures. This is for a married couple, two people, whether they're married or not, obviously. Gifts. Gifts are all over the place, too. This is $5,000 a year for a typical couple with some grandkids. Grandkids get all the dough. I already know that. Uh, it could be higher than that. It could be lower. Best guess for most people is about $5,000 a year. Groceries. Groceries are about $150 a week or so. This may be a little bit high. Groceries actually have not gone up much in the last several years. It could be $500 a month, but I put in $600. Anything I do here is basically gauged to be more conservative or a worst case scenario, not a best case scenario. 600 a month for groceries. If you go to Whole Foods or premium, uh, premium grocery store, it may be $1,000 a month. Property taxes and homeowners fees. Fees are uh, association fees, but property taxes is the main issue here. Those, especially on East and West Coast, can be quite a bit higher than 600 a month. That's 7,200 a year. Some people are going to pay 15,000 fairly easily per year for property taxes. So beware of that. Put in the proper number. Household expenses, cleaning, maintenance, insurance, and home improvements. Home improvements are a big problem with doctors while they're working, not so much in retirement as, as high, but this is $10,000 a year for cleaning, maintenance, insurance, and home improvements. Some doctors spend up to $50,000 a year. They do a lot of renovations. So in retirement, it should be less, but this is at the $10,000 per year mark. If you spend more than that, put it down. Hygiene. Haircuts, nails, mani-pedis, facials, tends to be more these days than it was even 10 years ago. People are pampering themselves more. I think that's good. So it may be $200 or $300 a month. Legal, again, this is a catch-all. This is mainly estate planning. You're going to spend $1,000 once every five years or so. So $75 a month or $1,000 a year is fairly appropriate. Medical. Okay, Medicare is not going to cost you $1,500 a month. My wife and I are paying about $1,000 a month, though. Medicare itself is closer to $500, but there's out-of-pocket expenses for prescriptions and other things, too. So really, it's about $1,000 a month. $500 a month goes towards long-term care. That's a whole different subject as to whether you should buy insurance or self-fund. Books and subscriptions, probably closer, closer to $100 a month with Kindle and the electronic devices that we have now. Utilities. This is fairly, fairly typical, $700 a month. That comes out to $8,500, $8,400 a year. is pretty typical for utilities. Now, if you live in an area like the Southwest where air conditioning or Texas uh, Florida in the south, which is really important and very expensive. It could be quite a bit higher than that. Also, say in the northeast where winter heating is more expensive, it may be higher. Extra cash, that's walking around cash that you don't have to account for for anybody. Uh, my wife and I are at $300 a month apiece. Uh, some guys are at 
100. 200 is pretty good average. Vacations and travel. Okay, this is a tricky figure here. Oftentimes, right after you retire, you may be spending $3,000 a month. It tends to go down fairly quickly in retirement, according to research. Uh, by your late 70s or so, it probably is way down to $1,000 a month or less. So you can use a higher figure, but later on in retirement, you're going to spend quite a bit less. 1000 is a fairly typical figure for 20 years or so into retirement. Okay, other expenses, such as country club, vacation home mortgage, a boat, uh, paying for private school for grandchildren, something that's ongoing through retirement, include here also. The other thing is, is if you're going to have a mortgage for a long time in retirement, it would make sense to include this too. Notice that mortgages aren't on here. So, come up with a total here. In this case, it's a little over $10,000 per month. And that's pretty typical. What doctors need or want, actually needs, wants, uh, it may be higher. It may be 20000 but they can deal with 10000 pretty easily. That's a pretty typical figure for retirement now. Okay, multiply it by 10, and that means you need $120,000 a year, not including taxes. Well, you're going to be taxed on Social Security. A lot of your funds are probably in tax deferrals, so you're going to be paying taxes. It's not nearly as high in retirement. Uh, actual taxes are going to be close to probably a little, a little below 20% federal. State is usually about 5%. So this 26% tax rate is probably high for most of us, again, in this category of spending. Um, but I'm, I'm using that. So it's an inverse function, so the multiplier is 1.35 for 26% tax. That multiplied by your year, your uh, yearly amount gives you the actual figure pre-tax that you may need in retirement. In this case, it's around $160,000. That, again, is fairly typical for doctors who earned close to $250,000 right before retirement. Thanks so much for listening in.